In this lecture, we will derive the expression for a gravitational redshift. Let us first consider that this be a body with mass m. It's a star or whatever with huge mass m. And let it emit a photon with energy h mu. We know that energy can be expressed in terms of mass also e is equal to mc square so though the photon has zero rest mass we know that but we can associate hypothetical mass equivalent to this energy so this mc square is h mu so m can be written as h mu upon c square now what is the potential energy when it is emitted for this mass mass equivalent of this photon will be minus g m and what is m is h mu upon c square and this is r is the radius of this star so the energy here of the photon can be written as h mu plus the potential energy and this energy has to remain same so let be the final energy let when I see this when I receive the photon I have the frequency h mu dash so the energy is written as h mu dash so h mu plus the potential energy is minus g m upon r h mu upon c square is equal to h mu dash so it becomes h gets cancelled h can be cancelled and i can write it as mu minus mu dash is equal to g m upon r mu upon c square or mu minus mu dash upon mu is equal to g m upon r c square this is called the gravitational red shift the frequency is less so the wavelength is high lambda dash is greater than lambda that is why we call it red shift that is gravitational red shift